Paul says in Romans chapter 1, verse 16 and 17, I am not ashamed of the gospel because it is the power of God that brings salvation to everyone who believes, first to the Jew, then to the Gentile. For in the gospel, the righteousness of God is revealed, a righteousness that is by faith from first to last. Just as it is written, the righteous will live by faith. This is one of the great, great verses of all scripture. It kind of, uh, uh, the great uh, ring of the Reformation is, how can a man be right with God? How can a man ever be just with God? And Luther, this uh, Augustinian monk that was fasting twice a week, uh, sleeping uh, on a hard uh, bunk, uh, just uh, going through great rigors as a devout monk, uh, but had no peace, uh, guilt in his heart, wrestling with how can one ever be just before God. And even as he uh, read this verse, it said that uh, in the gospel, uh, a righteousness is revealed from God. And he was stumped because he hated the idea of being just and righteous because he knew he was the last man that was righteous. He, he felt his own inward uh, struggles, temptations. And here he's in a, a monastery. Uh, he felt all of this depravity. And God finally showed him in the gospel and showed him through Augustine that uh, the righteousness of the gospel is not a righteousness being demanded of us, but it's a gospel being offered to us. It's the gospel that says Christ offers you, Martin, a righteous standing with God. Well, well how do I get it? How good can I get? Uh, how much fasting do I have to do? How many works do I have to do? Uh, I went to St. Peter's uh, Basilica. I crawled the steps. I confessed my wretchedness, my sin. I still can't find peace. He finally fi heard the gospel say, I'm offering you a gift of righteousness. I'm not giving you another hoop to jump over. I'm not offering you a righteous standard that you've got to meet. You can't meet it. But faith is the empty hand that receives the gift. Martin, if you'll believe me that I'm offering you this gift, you shall receive the gift of a right standing before God. And God himself will remain just. He will not compromise his character. He's simply offering you a gift. It's my son will bear my wrath, my righteous anger against your sin, Martin, and I'll give you a free gift. It's all of grace. He believed and he said this verse opened the door to paradise for him when he saw it was a gift of righteousness and not a righteousness demanded of him. Then it goes on to say, concludes the principle, by the way, the righteous man, the man or woman who's right with God, how shall they live? They are to live the rest of their life in this whole posture, I am believing you, I am relying on you to give me all your resources charged to Christ. I, every day of my life, I will rehearse the gospel. Father, I can't meet any of your standards today. You know that. You knew that when you saved me, didn't you? You know I've got a depraved heart. You know I have sinful bents, sinful thoughts. I, I, I'm prone to wonder, prone to sin. What do you have for me? He says, I've got a gift of righteousness, a gift of keeping. I'm commanding you continually rely on me. My just ones will rely on me by faith. It's not just once for all faith. It's day by day faith. 
And when you read the Gospel of John, over and over, he says, he that is believing in me has eternal life. He that is believing, it's a present tense, ongoing, ongoing. So we people are the people of faith. That's why we are called believers. We didn't just believe, but our whole life is, I'm trusting you for the righteousness of Christ. I'm trusting you to keep this sinner that has only trust. I've not jumped through any hoops, Lord. I've only received a gift. I have no righteousness of my own. You are my righteousness. I am relying on you. Relying, relying, relying. So the whole Christian life, how is it lived? Two ways, two things live the Christian life. I rely and God supplies. I rely, God supplies. And what does God supply? The spirit in me to energize, to produce the character. And I rely on this crucified, risen Christ. He is my righteousness, Father. I have none other. I have nothing. I have nothing to bring to you. The old hymn writer, Rock of Ages said, nothing in my hand to thee I bring. Simply to thy cross I cling. Dear friend, hear me. You don't have to be good. You don't have to be religious. You don't have to be perfect to get to heaven. You just got to rely on the righteousness of another. Abandon your own self-righteousness, your own works, and say, Jesus, unless you save sinners, I'll never make it. And he says, I specialize in saving sinners who do nothing more than trust me. Trust him. We are the people who've been called to live by faith.